To the mass amounts of correction that I got from the internet special forces warriors out there that would say you would never use attack reload in real life, I say this. Attack loaded. But as a self-proclaimed internet gun monkey, I feel the necessity to talk about when you would implement attack reload versus an emergency reload. Let's set the scene. You're shooting John Wick style all of a sudden. Gun goes dry. That's when you give it a flick and put a new magazine in, punch back out, and go to work. You don't have time to save that magazine for potentially a later situation. For attack reload, you've just neutralized the threat or whatever threat is currently present. You think to yourself, hey, I need to top off my magazine. I can't remember how many rounds I just shot because I just shot somebody. So you take a new magazine, top off the rounds, replace your old one because you don't want to throw away ammunition or the thing that holds the ammunition because reasons. Then you punch back out, go to work, and prepare for whatever may come next. There's a reason there are two different reloads and there's a reason you practice them in different scenarios. Think on that for a minute.